Good morning, Mount Vernon Lisbon. I'm Scott Weber, Record Bands at Mount Vernon Community School District. Office in Mount Vernon. Good morning, Mount Vernon Lisbon. Good morning, Mount Vernon and Lisbon. I'm Joe. And I am Kim. And we are promoting the awesomeness of the Mount Vernon and Lisbon area. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Joe. We're Good in a morning. different place. We're in the cold corner. Cold corner, cold corner. <laughs> We can be wherever we want. Yeah, this is actually the the library of Kim's home. Yes, the mm -hmm. den. We call it the den. Oh, you call it the den at home? Yeah, that's oh, where we okay. have our after dinner ch chats. <laughs> Smoke cigars, oh, really? drink a little Brandy? nightcap. Oh, yeah. Okay. And decide in a snifter. who did it <laughs> in the film noir. We would be filming this in black and white, but <laughs> short notice. Does the butler serve you? Okay, okay. She's a little wire-haired terrier, and we put a tray on her back, and she doesn't come whenever we ask her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fun. it's How great. wonderful for you. Yeah. Shall yeah. we? Your 30-room uh, mansion. Yeah. 33. Oh, 33, sorry. Yeah. I wasn't counting the upstairs bathrooms. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. All right. <laughs> Your breaking news! Volume 152, number 28, July 15th, 2021. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well. And before we start, yeah. today's my brother's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. So I'm birthday. saying happy birthday to my brother Mark. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to eating lunch with you tomorrow. Okay, done. Alright, so we're going to talk a little about solid waste. Alright? Who told you? <laughs> <laughs> Mount Vernon solid waste bids expected in September. Wow. Let's read about this, shall I don't, we? I'm not putting a bid in for that. <laughs> no, I don't. This is a silent auction. <laughs> I'm not bidding. Thank you. All right. Any change of trash pickup for Mount Vernon residents likely won't take place until next July. Okay. So we've got to just collect our trash until next July. Like we always do. Yep. Yeah. Pile it up in the back. Compost where you can. Yeah. Gonna be stinky. Uh, we're, not, we're gonna be the smelliest town, small town, not the now, coolest. Let's don't, let's don't do that because right. truly we will have waste pickup. Yes, we're just joshing. Yeah. Though the city council is seeking options other than the tag system used now. Okay. okay. The city of Mount Vernon expects bids for solid waste removal in the community to be returned mm -hmm. by early September and a decision to be made after the discussions happen at that time. Okay. So a rate change will most likely take effect July 1, 2022. Okay. According to... So your trash pickup, it sounds like, will just be included in your water bill or something like that. Maybe. Well, I, I think that's all in discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Correct. That's an option. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, so let's, we'll it'll be let's, interesting let's see what Chris says. This is what Chris Nosbish says. Okay, what do you say? That would give us plenty of time to notify Wapsi Waste, our current provider, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if we were moving away from their system and not have us transition our waste services in the middle of a year. Yeah. So that that's sense. good. Give them a little and notice. And that's fair. And yeah. maybe they'll come back with a, a reasonable situation because those guys are great. Boy, those trash guys are great. Yeah. And they always they come are, through, don't they? They are there in the rain and the direct show and the oh everything direct and show. they are taking our trash away and it is such an important service so whoever does it the current one current current people wapsie thank you very much yeah. and uh, whoever is in the future thank you very much so the average customer's garbage bill is eleven dollars and 19 cents per month mm -hmm. that seems fair to me yeah. does that seem fair and then uh additional dollar 25 for recycling mm -hmm. and this does not include the three dollar tag okay, <laughs> so that's extra money mm -hmm. okay but anyway there you go that's that <laughs> that's in the works now we've also got some more bidding happening oh really yeah the roundabout repairs be are being bid out by repairs? the DRT what's wrong with it? well let's find out right now. I would love to know let's go here we thank go thank goodness the Sun has written an article so we can find out another Nathan countryman story Nathan countryman our it's cameraman everywhere. multi talented everywhere ladies and gentlemen. Oh. the Iowa Department of Transportation is seeking a federal highway safety improvement plan grant to change the highway one round about uh there was hyphenated at the yeah. about. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me get back to work. Into a single lane rather than a double lane. Oh yeah. Well, we've all been talking about that for a while, haven't we? Yeah. With a projected bid letting. Oh, bid letting, that's another one. Good word. Bid letting of fiscal Is that year. Like blood letting? Something like that. Yeah. Well, we were talking off camera about the term bid, bid it out, bid, bid, bid letting. 
Anyway, so here we go. The tenths. Uh, uh, yes. Of fiscal year 2023. That seems like a long time ago, a time away, but it's coming soon. It'll be like this. Improvements are uh, being explored as a potential for crash reduction. I oh, didn't know we had some well, crashes. Well, maybe there's people that are coming into the lanes together. I know. And one wants to go straight and one wants to get, yeah, yeah. And so. Everything has happened once, mm -hmm. at yeah. least. Uh, yeah. Mount Vernon City Administrator Chris, Chris Nosvish said if the IDOT were to receive the grant and proceed with the project, the city will work with IDOT to ensure repairs can be made to bring the roundabout to a single lane roundabout as opposed to the double lane roundabout. Hmm. Estimated cost of the improvements is about 100 grand. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Other. In other okay. news. In other news. Tristan Wirfs was What's on that? it. that? It's right here in the front. Take a look. We all know there. who he is. Yeah. All so right. So nice of him to come back to his hometown. And there he is. Home. A wonderful picture of him on the front uh, front page. Yes. Getting the peace sign or the victory sign. I don't know however you want to look at that. Peace is victory, Joe. Well, it's kind of backwards. I know. So I don't know. Is that peace and that's victory? I'm not quite sure. Depends on what country you're in. Yeah. Oh, okay. There was no raining on the parade, which is true. It rang before, it rang Let after, but not for you. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. That was on awesome. the parade for uh, accolades for Tristan Wirfs this past weekend. Mount Vernon resident and Super Bowl winning athlete Tristan Wirfs was honored at this year's Mount Vernon Heritage Days events. Okay, this is Tristan's awesome. mom. It's awesome to have Tristan recognized and celebrated by this community mm -hmm. uh, as Mount Vernon has been such a big part of his life. And Tristan, you've been a big part of all of our lives yes. too. So um, uh, thank you for being you. How wonderful that you came back. Yeah. Uh, this, is good. Uh, this is Tristan. It feels good. I'm so excited to be recognized by this community. I didn't expect to be in Mount Vernon's high school's Hall of Fame so early. <laughs> uh, Tristan still can't believe that he's been part of a Super Bowl winning team during his first year of National Football League play mm -hmm. with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ah, God bless him. How exciting. Yeah, it's very Yeah, that exciting. was really interesting. Um, he was honored all weekend at uh, several events, and this picture on the front pages of him in, uh, in, the, parade. in the parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice to see him, and uh, how and exciting. It was so sweet of him to throw out those squishy signed football things too. Yeah. Oh my God. You missed my hat. Tristan, I was going like this. You missed me. Oh, uh, darn it. Okay. Wow. All right. So there's a nice story in here titled, There's No Place Like Mount Vernon. We all know that. Yeah, but that was actually the theme of Heritage Days. This we year. all know that. <laughs> so anyway, this is about Heritage Days. So there was no place like Mount Vernon for the Mount Vernon Heritage Days Festival, Friday, July 9 and Saturday, July 10. Uh, at Karinsky Golf Course in Uptown Mount Vernon. Rain played havoc. Oh, rain. rain. Oh, rain. We could have done less because we could have had more rain. So That's true. You know, and you know what? We got uh, some stuff done. We had to cancel a few things, but we still got a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got a lot of fun in. Yep. Uh, so, um, uh, let's see. Friday evening at Storm's canceled fireworks show, the inflatables and the balloons for the hot air balloon glow. Still more than 100 area youth took part in activities out there. Awesome. So I'm What gonna, do they do with the fireworks that they didn't use? Oh, well, that's a very good question. I get, keep getting asked that. Mm -hmm. So we had to pay them, I think, $480, and that is a, what they call a setup fee. A restocking fee. Something. Mm -hmm. And then no fireworks were blown, so right. that we can set off any time we want. So we can set up another fireworks show somewhere we're out throughout the year. We can save money and just hold them till next year and do it all again, and then our fireworks are paid for for next year. And that's something for the committee and the CDG board to discuss. And I'm going to try not to get into it, but you know, we'll take your opinions. And, we'll let you know. Yeah, and we'll, no we'll bring it back. TBA. Yeah, and I keep telling people, you know, when they stop me on the street with their ideas, I'll take that to the committee, mm -hmm. and the committee looks at it, makes a decision that they. Take yep. to the board, yep. and it would be the uh, committee's agreement that this is what we need to do. And yep. the board has the power to override that or just vote with the committee. Right. So plenty of people with a lot of good sense are considering all mm -hmm. issues. And just always keep that in mind. I know when you're sitting at home reading this kind of stuff and you, you think you have a better idea than those who are actually looking at it. Um, so, uh, and that's fine. So we can either get involved in committee next year, 
or you can just whisper to somebody who's on the committee or on the board and then understand that the decision is not yours, it's theirs. Okay. Thank you. This has been a public service announcement by director of the CDG Development Group. And now, to our previously scheduled program. Well, guess what? I know. Let me say it. Okay. Live theater returns to Mount Vernon Lisbon. Yes. To the Mount Vernon Lisbon Community Theater. Okay? Yes. So, do uh, you want to do this one since you're you so... You go. Okay. I'm excited. So, the Mount Vernon Lisbon Community Theater will be returning to live theater with Ordinary Days. This is going to be presented Friday, July 16th, Saturday, July 17th, Sunday, July 18th. That's this weekend. Yes. And Friday, and Saturday, July 23 and Saturday, July 24. Yes. That's next weekend. Yes. Performances are 7.30 on the Fridays and Saturdays and Sunday performances too. Yes. And guess where that is? Right up here, Uptown Theater. Yeah, but it's not here because this is your house. Oh, get what? We're not performing at Kim's house. Her <laughs> butler would let you in. We might, but if you won't see Ordinary Days here, okay? Yeah. It'll be at the Uptown Theater, yeah. and it is our first show since last March 2020. We finished uh, The Shining Lives yeah, I the saw it. Sunday, uh, bef the day before everything was shut down for COVID. Yeah. So it was it was it's been it's you been a long time right under the wire we've done some um we've done some youtube shows uh, zoom shows some video shows some things like that but this is the first live and we're so excited and then right after that is going to be uh midsummer night's dream in the gazebo so there's more live theater and then after that is house of blue leaves ah <sighs> It's a lot. Yes. It's all coming back. Yes. So, Ordinary Days tells the story of four young New Yorkers whose lives intersect as they search for fulfillment, happiness, love, and cabs. Producers say it is a fresh, refreshingly honest and funny musical about making real connections in the city that never sleeps. But probably should at some point. <laughs> we should all sleep. Oh, yeah. yes. Sleep. So, Remember come sleep. see it. Buy your tickets, Mount Vernon, uh, uh, MVLCT.com. Um, and, uh, or, you know, get them, get them to come, or you can get them at the door. Okay, let's see. Well, there's a portion of Shared Business 30 that's about to be repaved. Really? And there's a couple other headlines in here that I want you to look at on your own, because okay. I don't want to read them. Yep. Okay, P portion of Shared Business 30 is going to be repaved. Lisbon will be moving forward with repaving a section of Business 30 in conjunction with Lynn County's repaving project. City will contribute to repaving a quarter mile stretch a business 30 from roughly Dollar General to Lisbon Boulevard, where Lynn County is responsible for the westbound lane and Lisbon is responsible for the eastbound lane. Isn't that fascinating? I yeah. never knew that either. Me neither. Yeah. Hmm. You know, you watch this show or you, you occasionally learn something. <laughs> Not very but often. But most of the time, it's just but two people just being stupid. Jibber jabbering. Yeah, well. That's all. Well, that's what we do. But it's you know, a living. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, we're not paid, are we? No, no, we are unpaid interns. <laughs> What's okay. going on? What's next? Yeah, I've already jumped a page. I don't know what where you are, are we because on? you know where I'm at. Are we on 7A? 6A. Oh, did I get Six, no, you're right there. Cook Oh, I see you now. Oh, there's... Cook Corner! Cook Corner! Cook Corner! And this is not the Cold Corner. Cook Corner! Although it looks like a Cold Corner. It could be Cold Corner. So, I've got a question to ask you. Please. Are you starting to plan a summer getaway? No. I yes, just you got are. back. Oh well, yes I am. <laughs> I've got I've got several getaways in the month of July. For some reason, poor scheduling. Yes. Okay, so Cole Library can help with three new books, okay? Uh, they're National Geographic. Complete National Parks of the United States. Okay. Secrets of the National Ooh, they're secrets. Who knew? Ooh. And how to get to New York City in, or New York, uh, New Paltz, New York in under 15 hours. No? No. Okay, darn it. Okay. And 100 parks, 5,000 ideas, and where should we camp next? We are not camping. <laughs> Just being clear about that. I will okay. sleep in my car, but I will not sleep on the ground. Okay. The Complete National Parks has over 400 registered sites, including parks. Ready? 400 registered sites. Wow, how exciting. Wow. Anyway, so there you go. Buy some books about the parks and plan well, a little getaway. Check some out at the yeah. library because well, they have them else there. Go to our state park. It's so close. Mm -hmm. Picture 10 out there. No, you can't make me. Okay, don't do it then. Okay. Um, I will go out and walk around and be in nature. Love it. Okay. The city is expanding housing rehabilitation housing grants. Yes. 
housing, was, really rehabilitation housing grants. Okay, the city of Lisbon will be opening applications for the housing rehabilitation grant program to the entire community. The city has about 143 grand wow. earmarked for the program, which was originally meant for a targeted area. Huh. Mark Culver of Eastern Central Iowa Council of Governments, we call that EC COG, ECI COG, something like that, um, said that the program had received three applications for the targeted area, but had money to fund rehabilitations for six homes. Oh. Hmm. That's awesome. So more people may be getting their homes. Well, it says here there is funding for three more projects in the city of Lisbon, city of Lisbon, and the project must be completed by August 31. That's close. Ooh. Could be seen due to COVID. They might extend it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good. Okay. Well, there you go. Get on that, people. Contact city of Lisbon. Okay. Oh my. Nice goodness. photos of heritage shades. There's a good one of that Ken, wicked witch. And I love oh. Kendra and Tristan's picture. She is. Just um, enthralled yeah. with that man, and oh, it's just the biggest fan. She was, a, she's been a super fan of Tristan's since he was. I mean, from Mount Vernon to Iowa, yeah, to every. Oh yeah. Awesome. Well, we've read about her in this paper before. Yes. And um, anyway, some nice pictures of everything yes. that went on this weekend. And so there are great. more on our website as well. Oh, oh exciting! So, okay. Go to the website. If nothing else, you got to see the picture of Brayden in her fairy costume yes. on top of a limousine. She was the Linda the Good Witch. Yeah. Anyway, costume made by, you know who? And Amy Rose Hermson's uh, beautiful tulle skirt fabrics, all of it, yes. Okay. Okay. So, let's get into sports, shall we? Let's. Okay. So, uh, uh, the Mustang, Mustangs return to state. Well. That's kind of an exciting That That is the example of if you build it, they will go. <laughs> all right. You build them a nice, beautiful Place to play, and look at there they go. There they go. Softball team wins region crown with three straight shutouts. I want to see them in their crown. Okay, before the state qualifying game Monday, July 12th, Coach Robin Brand said the Mustangs would either dominate or be in for a dogfight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, they went onto the field, in Brand's words, ready to go. Woo! Well written. Mount Vernon earned a 12-0 win in four innings to roll into the state tournament. It was the 12 Mustangs. 12-0. 12-0. Blowout. Third shutout of the postseason. They are on it. We were ready to go, said Brand. The girls were pretty fired up. They've been purpose-driven. Oof. I don't know what it is. I feel like we have this confidence. That's senior Lauren Ryan. Coach Brand says, respect all, fear none. Ooh, I like it. Ooh. And so we just have that mentality going in. Huh. They were ready to do it. Ready. All right. Well, congratulations to them and good luck at state. So Lisbon is a step away from Fort Dodge, according to this. So this is a Margaret Stevens story. Lisbon's softball team has been marching determinedly through the postseason, opening with a 6-2 win over Bellevue Woo. Marquette. That Woo. was Wednesday, July 7. That win set up a much-anticipated semifinal match with Central City. Oh, Semifinal was originally Central set for Friday City. night, but storms pushed it back to Saturday afternoon. Central City. <laughs> the delay certainly didn't affect crowd size. Hundreds of fans, both teams, encircled the field, cheering their own teams in red and black. Wow. Nor did the delay impact the Lions, who posted a 3-1 win to advance to the regional final against Highland. 3-1. That game with a state birth at stake was scheduled to be played Tuesday, July 3rd. Oh. Results weren't available at press time. They did win. They did win! Oh, Woo! All right. Oh, that's Thank awesome. Thank you, Nathan. The anticipation. Oh. Oh, that was almost oh. too much for me. <laughs> okay. Mustangs down, top-ranked Marion. Oh, I want to read this story. Marion. Wow. Oh, this Trent Bowman. Mount Vernon's baseball team posted a signature win, downing Womack leader and top-rated Marion in the second game of a doubleheader July 5. Wow. Mustang Bats proved potent in the final games of the regular season. They won on a sweep bit in Shellsburg 10-3 and 13-6. Woo! That was Thursday, July 8. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. We had quite a uh, um, roundup of what happened here. I want you guys to read it okay. yourself. Okay. All right. This is Lisbon now. Their baseball team cruises over Columbus. 
Lisbon's baseball. They should have sailed over Caracas. Oh, 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 don't you wish you would have thought of that? Yep. Oh, well. Uh, all right. It's all good. Okay. Lisbon's baseball team is roaring into the postseason. Easily downing MFL. MFL. That's what it says. I, I, it's a it's a hyphenated thing. Yeah. Com- combination of schools. MFL Marmac is the MFL yes. Marmac. Okay, there you go. MFL. All right. So uh, in the regular season finale, and then posting a convincing win over Columbus in the first round of the playoffs, Lions were to host Lone Tree July 13. The second round of the Class 1A Substrate Three Tournament. Okay. Okay. Well, that wants to be continued, it sounds like. Substate. All right. Late coach among Cedar County. Oh, I see. Gary Stamp. No, he wasn't, like, late to <laughs> Oh, my God. He no. came not late to the baseball no. game. No. No, he has no. passed away, and okay. he's getting honored in memoriam. All right. Here we go. I'll read the story instead of the headline. Maybe that yes. would make more sense. All right. The late uh, Gary Stamp is among five individuals who will be inducted into the Cedar County Sports Wall of fame. It's a wall of fame uh, at 11 a.m. July 18th during the Cedar County Fair. The ceremony will be held in the pavilion on the west side of the fairgrounds. Stamp, who coached in Lisbon and Mount Vernon, and Dave Rummels are regular nominations that are selected annually. Representing older athletes or minor sports selected every two years are Gary Bacchus, Cheyenne, Boddicker, Boddicker. Kaufmel, and Merle Neighbor. Nava Command Stamp coached wrestling, football, baseball, and softball for 42 years. He won 548 softball games, 253 in baseball, and 112 in football. That's a that's lot, a of, lot of victory. Yeah, good mm-hmm. for him. Well, God bless him, and uh, you know we can read more about that. Yeah, here. that's nice. He's getting some continued accolades. Right. Well, there we go. Oh my goodness. I think that's about what we got, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh yes, more Worf story on the back, worth every word because that's just lovely yeah. and yeah so may i don't sing so lo- too loud don't wake up the bumper <laughs> just what makes that little old ant think he can move that rubber tree plant hmm. everyone knows an ant can't move that rubber tree plant but he's got what high uh, hopes he's got high hopes he's got high apple high in the sky